in five, four, three, two. What up, we all welcome to the thing. I'm Kevin on stage. She. That chick AJ. Welcome to another podcast episode. Sad, 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 We're there inside Toronto. you. Toronto. This Friday, Toronto. Yeah, Toronto. Ch- I've never been. Ch- you never been? Ch- never been. I've only been to Quebec. Toronto. Ch- oh. Ch- Toronto, we're pulling up. Drake said he's pulling up to the show. Did he? Yep. Yeah. He wow. hit me up. He texted me. He said, yo, Kev on stage. It's me, Drake. I gave him your number because he was like, I can't get a hold of Kev. I'm so busy. I'm so busy. Don't he worry. said, yeah, it's me, Drake. I'm coming to the show. I said, you, Drake? I'll be Graham? He said, man, come on, man. You know me and you've been friends since uh, that mixtape I had. And when I first signed to Young Money, I said, wow, Young this Money. is kind of crazy, uh, Drake. And he's like, it surely is, Kevin, 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 I bolted. What you, what I bolted? So Toronto, get your act together still. Y'all getting your act together a little bit, but not enough to warrant coming <laughs> Ever. all the time. I mean, it's... And the crazy thing is the, the two years prior, and I realized this, I told Angel this, I said Toronto has sold out both times previously, but what I neglected to remember is yeah. that was when we were doing 300 seats. Eight there you people. go, there's a difference. And we was, but the energy was so crazy. It's such a positive memory. The energy's mm-hmm. still going to be crazy. Yeah. It's going to be crazy, be... and they're going to come. I, think I they just will. hope they're late. The first is some this people, week, Kev. Some, some people ain't got paid. Also, did, did you go in February? One we time. One time oh. we did. Both times I went. It, it was butt, butt crack cold. It's really, the flights are the cheapest. Yeah. I went cold. Round trip and when go. I posted that video today, they said the weather ain't even that cold like that for real. Well, it's only 30. Yeah, they oh. said it ain't even cold like that. My mama said I've been to Toronto. I don't think I have. Mama Dorothy, we're trying to tell a story now. She, she ain't never been. <laughs> New York, out, there's only a couple yeah. tickets left. I'll tell you the, t- the shows that are guaranteed to sell out based on how they're going now. New York, D.C., Atlanta, uh, for sure. Seattle. And L.A. Tacoma. Tacoma, El, El Paso. Tacoma. I would have I'm, never put that I'm one just, on the list, but you know what? It's, it's your hometown. And I and I don't even be from there for real. Uh, Tacoma, you're on watch. You're on watch. All right, let's start. Before we begin, we must Before address. we begin, shout out to our sponsors yeah. of the show. Uh, Price Picks and HelloFresh, and we'll talk about Price them Price Picks, whom we beep, love. Beep, beep, beep. Before we talk about Nikki and Meg, we would be remiss. Josh Singler out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Friend of the pod, co-host of the pod, racked up for <laughs> NAACP Image Award nominations in one award season. In one award season. A- outstanding social media personality. Here's the thing, podcast. Mm. Is this going to cause an argument, podcast? What? Black Lady Sketch Was that ensemble? Yeah. Black it Lady Sketch Show. The show. Yeah. Four nominations. Angel, we, we are blessed to even sit within your aura. Listen, you are correct, but that was even before I got the nominations. I just just can't even. You know, I was I was like hoping I wanted this, like uh, not even bashfully. I was like, I want I won, especially that social media one. I was like, I won it. And then I was like, and here's the thing, got to come out of the category. I was like, is this going to cause an argument? If that happens, wow, my mind will be blown. And I was like, huh. I was up on the phone at 6.44 a.m. waiting to see it come across the Instagram, and it never did. And y'all know how I found out? Tell them how you found out, Angel. <laughs> found out about here's the thing while I was in the shower. My husband was brushing his teeth. Here's the thing that's on there. <laughs> and I was like, what? And I'm, he said, here's the thing. I said, that's not how I want to find out. Don't tell me. I said, why do you know? He said, Kevin just texted it. And then I get out the shower after I finish showering and I go and I see the emblem. I was like, oh yeah. And then I get another text and it's the emblem of me as social media personality of the year. Again, not how I wanted to find out, but this man. I didn't know you didn't know. How was I going to know? They hadn't announced it. Because I went on the website. Well, because that's not what they said. They said, come on Instagram. And I went on Instagram and it wasn't there. I said, <laughs> let me go snooping around. Let me see if y'all y'all didn't have y'all chakras aligned. And somebody on the website said, go already. The, the website they said, gotta, go. And website man said, hey, my problem, man. I don't know nothing about the lie. So I went and clicked on the website man said, hey, Angel, what? And I, I didn't even know. Are you alive? I didn't know nothing about it. I didn't know my friend knew. Okay, now put the camera on me, y'all. <laughs> put it on camera. 
Kevin. The NAACP hit me up. I'm in Mexico City. Mexico. Probably around 4 o'clock, something like that. Uh-huh. And they like, hey, Kev, would you mind making the announcements for the outstanding social media personality because you won the award last year? And I said, sure, guys. I'm in Mexico City. I got, as soon as I get back to the hotel, I'll make it. It's like, cool, we'll email you the, the thing. And I'm like, great. And I was like, okay, I'm just hoping Keith would be on there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Friend of the pod, of Keith Lee. Keith would, if Keith, Keith would have to be on there. So what they told me, and they didn't, they didn't, they told me that they didn't tell me. Mm-hmm. They was like, when you get the announcement, when you make the announcement, just, you know what I'm saying, be equal amongst everybody. And I was like, sure, no problem, guys. I wouldn't make people know to Kev, vote for Keith. Kev's an equal opportunity employer. Yeah, I'm like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be unbalanced and unbiased. You're a good host. When I get to that hotel and I got that email, <laughs> and Angel's name was last, I said, "Oh God!" <laughs> and they called me after I opened the email. They was like, "You cannot tell her." I was like, "She is my friend." I, I can't. Why would she? Ha! It's hot. The only reason Angel didn't know, the only <laughs> reason she didn't know is because they told me the day before Less than and I was hours. in you another had a country. Day? No, no. I, they told me at four o'clock. Like so four he had o'clock. Less than twenty four hours. Yes. Oh, I thought it was like a full day of you holding that no, in. No, I wouldn't have I would have if, spontaneously if we had to be in combusted. Different countries. I, if I would have saw <laughs> Angel, I would have been like, Hello. I know. I, <laughs> I know you are a person. What if somebody walked in the door and they, they weren't going to send it to you until they knew you were out of country? They're like, bienvenidos. Bruh, I was like, and they were like, do not tell her. I was like. He did such a good job. He did not wow. tell me. I didn't. He, I didn't even know he knew until I saw the, finally saw the video. And I said, you knew. <laughs> you knew. Because they didn't send me no email. Because the first year they sent you an email. You knew ahead of time. No, I found out on Instagram. Because oh, no, no, no. My agent told me. Yeah, My yeah, agent yeah. told me. Yeah, yeah. Right. didn't know who else was on the bill, though. Mm-mm. Yeah, well, I did. <laughs> well, because I was just like, ain't no way she ain't, ain't on the bill. Oh. Dab, the first year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know who else, but I was just like, well, I know who else got to be. I, I was so confident until I seen Tab's name. <laughs> and then when I saw Keith's name, I said, God dang it, Keith. I, no, I knew. Listen, when we did the interview, this is how long I've wanted it. When we interviewed Keith, I was like, God, dog, this is who I'm going to be up against. Did you really think that then? Yes, because I was like, I want it. I've been creating content since 2009, y'all. You are outstanding? I've been outstanding. Well, sometimes mediocre, but I've been trying. Outstanding. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I knew. But Keith is at uh, everybody. First of all, this category this year, I not know, to say I any God other dog. year was not great. This category this year, everybody has you got, been I said, God, on big business. You got Drewski. Who you, had a whole tour? Keith. He was with Keith. Terrell. Drewski was God. down with Roll Todd Willie. Look, I know it. Lene. Lene. I said, that's why I told them last year, if I don't get it, don't. No. I'm not going against Keith. I, I wasn't going to promote you one. Not, you, you good? Yo. No. Yeah, if I can get up here. No, that's different. Standing on big business. I would have lost three years in a row. <laughs> don't. Don't. If he called you an old head, Kev. I don't care. He did. I wouldn't have posted not one thing about it. I would have went and mowed my lawn and I have turf. I <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, please vote for us, Angel, every day. Day. Every day from all Quit your, your job, addresses. lose your job, sell don't your body, that. whatever <laughs> you have to do. Don't do, don't do any of that. Uh, Congratulations we've... to Josh and Kevin. Yeah, also. a Mexican man is nominated Let's for NAACP. Everybody in this room is an NAACP employee. Even Captain nominated. Levi Ackerman. Yeah, even count. Aaron yeah. Yeager is nominated. Listen, the website is confusing, Hell. but the social media one is not. So if you can't figure out any of the rest, you do that. Well, social you media, it's uh, the voting process is very confusing for every other category. My grandma been texting me every day. I, I try to vote it for you for the for the. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I love how old blacks they emphasize different. The, uh huh. They here's the thing is the name of she's the, the here's the thing. Yeah. I nominate. I try, but I can't figure out how to do it. Kevin, I said, my I don't know what it I is. I did a tutorial. I'm gonna do another one. I'm yeah, gonna do a step by step. Because I never, I didn't remember those complaints um, prior years, but I was in a different category. Yeah. But anyway, best of luck to Angel and not as much luck to the other people. Uh, <laughs> because we need Angel everybody. to win. She's the dark horse. All right. The number one suggested topic in our Patreon, I'd say 70% of the people suggested it. We're going to shout out Darnisha. She said, Meg versus Nikki. Matter of fact, Darnisha and Kevin. Uh, Meg versus Nikki beef. 
Now, let me tell you what. They have a beef. What? They have (laughs) beef. It's what's for dinner. Uh Now, let me tell you what. Now, they've been calling me Unc online a little bit more than usual the last year or two. I never felt more Unc until I until I listened to Meg's um this track was it his it was his yes it was I didn't know who the intended targets of the beef were really upon first listen I figured she was talking about Drake for another pod Mm -hmm. with the BBL thing but I got that from Twitter the Megan's Law I didn't even know what Megan's Law was I didn't know that was the name of the law I'm aware of that law but Uh I didn't know it was like nicknamed Megan's Law Uh uh-huh so I, I was like, okay, now who did the Megan's law? Who did well, this? Megan's law is the is the database. Yeah, that they yeah. Have. But I didn't know who she was shooting at. Got when it. you said you're worried about Megan, you were, I was like, okay, who? So I reverse engineered. Okay, tell, okay. Me how you found, how, tell me how Auntie Angel found out who the people I were. I heard that Nikki, I said, why is Nikki riled up? You know, what's going on? And, it, <laughs> and I more so was hearing, they were like, Nikki, what is this? With her, the, the Bigfoot. Yeah. I heard that first. Oh, you heard big oh you auntie then. Yeah, I heard that. I heard, heard the big. acapella first. We gonna and, get to that. And I said, What? And so then I went. We and go- then I said, Why is she so angry? Yeah. So I said, What happened? So I listened to his and when I heard Megan's Law, I said, If this is the only thing she has said <laughs> and that Bigfoot came from this. So I listened to the rest and I said I don't hear anything else that seems spe- that could be specifically to Nikki. And yeah. I said, and I listened one more time. And I said, oh, you listen twice. I listened twice and read the lyrics. Yeah. And I said, that's it. That's what caused that to happen. <laughs> the thing that's dangerous about that is usually in the rap beefs that I've been aware of, the the, so- the shots are less subliminal. Mm-hmm. Anybody who is affected by Megan's law could have been the target but for you to know it's you yeah, listen that's that's the, for you to know she the shot was at you because i didn't know at first that's and, not a shot you should ever claim though that's what i've been mean, let me talking. bleed out what are you talking about she didn't hit me what talking about me <laughs> well you're clearly bleeding from the whole right side of your head no girl that's a relaxer that went wrong but that bullet did not hit me at all I would, why would, I don't understand why anybody would raise their hand and be like, yeah. Leave my family alone when you're talking about sex, sex offenders. <laughs> all up in my home. She ought to be talking about me. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more people who could fall underneath that category. 1,000%. Spe- specifically in hip hop. And like the dancer for R. Kelly, I still don't know who that was. That's what I was looking up last night and forgot. I, I couldn't, <laughs> could not figure me. out. Y'all in the Patreon, who who, who is the dancing? R. Kelly person? Who was dancing? Who was dancing for R. R. Kelly, Kelly making, making him popular? I want to know. Because I did, I was like, boy, I went down to the genius on the website. Akbar? Akbar. Tasha, Tasha okay, K. Okay, y'all just throwing all type of names in there. Tasha K? Jada Tasha King. K. Okay, I That's don't know. That's why I keep saying. Jada I keep King hearing Tasha K. Who's Akbar V? They said TikTokers. They said. That's that unk on your face right now, Kev. I'm, oh, my God. Who, who is that? Look at the and playback. And other people Look at the is saying it, Joe Button. <laughs> who is that? Joe Akbar Button v? say something about her? Oh, my. When did Joe Button say something? I don't know. I don't podcast? know what Joseph said. When did Joshua? When did Joseph say did something? Did he say something on his podcast? Akbar V Maybe is a I... friend of Nikki. Oh, okay. He was must. Is that a man? He was dancing. Okay, is Candy's cousin? Candy from Oh, how she get in Real Housewives? Coded nights. Candy coded. She's a rapper. Akbar is a woman. Oh my God. Oh Lord. Could have sworn that Akbar was a man. V is a rapper who was begging for Nikki's attention. Love and hip hop. <laughs> okay. And was dancing. She was in an old R. Kelly video. I don't. I or what did she play R. Kelly music? And I don't know. I didn't know it. how she got famous. I didn't understand it. I, I felt like I felt every bit of forty when I when I listened to that. I said, "Oh, I, I need to call my nephew. Hey, come on, tell un- <laughs> what, Uncle to Uncle Kev what was going on with the rap girls." Because yes, I haven't heard. Because I was I was busy doing my walk. I was stretching. I wasn't aware. Of I who wasn't. Was. I wasn't aware. I was not aware of all the things that she was talking about. So, but- thankfully, Twitter cleared up the Megan's Law thing, and like I know Nikki's husband had the uh, rape. Yep. 
He did have, he had that. Mm-hmm. I was aware I'm of that. Make sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that box for this. Yeah. Like oh that. yeah. You might. Yeah. Well, this gonna be big yellow. Sorry. I, I knew he had Rain. that. So I. <laughs> yep. I knew two. that. Uh, so then, where are we at on the ads? Because I want to. I don't. Well, well I was getting ready to transition. Yeah, we, we, okay, we, we, we that was where you set it up. I was going to say. Now I tell you where I would love for this beef to be <laughs> is on Prize Picks. That's right. Okay, Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with over three million members. We are easiest. They are the easiest in the most exciting way to play DFS. It's just you against the numbers. You pick more than and less than on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. The big game is right around the corner. Prize picks is the easy and most exciting way to turn every game changing moment into a hundred times your money. With as little as four correct picks, you can turn $10 into a thousand. It's demon time on prize picks. Oh. You can now win up to a hundred times your money with as little as four correct picks. You can turn, as I said to y'all already, ten dollars to into a thousand. Demons and goblins are the newest and most exciting way to play a pri- play at prize picks. Squares marked with red demons or green goblins get you different payouts. You can now win up to a hundred times your money with as little as four correct picks. Now listen, guys, y'all heard how. On a different show, we are avid users. Of avid. Huge. I, listen, there are players on there that you ain't even ever heard of. Nikola no, Jovic? Nikola Jovic is what? Listen, love him. Love him. Stefan, love him. <laughs> love all the people. Listen, the games is gaming, okay? I'm not sure. Did y'all watch the Chiefs and oh, the Ravens? Yes. I would not have won money. I, I was surprised. Damn. But it was still fun to watch. It was still fun to watch. And it's still fun to prize pick. It. Even if your team's not playing, you can still prize Even pick. Even if your team loses, you still might win on prize picks if you do the more than or less than on the points. The, you do the, the more stats. than or less than. On the stats. On the stats. Mm-hmm. That's what Rushing yards, about. touchdowns. Yep. Receiving yards. This is mm-hmm. why I be loving the prize picks. And go to prizepicks.com forward slash SK. SK. And use code SK. SK. For a first deposit match up to $100. Go to prizepicks.com forward slash SK. SK. And use code SK. SK. For a first deposit match up to $100. And we thank Prize Picks for sponsoring today's podcast. All right. So after his. Which let me let me just say this right. Yeah, I say His had it, it was a solid song. Mm-hmm. Now I I'm not gonna go back and revisit his, but I believe it was the effort was put in to make a good song. They had a couple mem- memorable bars, which is what you want from a rap beef. You want people tweeting out the bars, mm-hmm. right? She struck first, right? But I wouldn't say like, oh my god, I'm gonna go hit his up again. Like I didn't enjoy it like that, oh. like that. I see, uh, and I am a hottie. I am a Megan girl, a Meg, I was about to say Megan girl, Meg the Stallion fan. Mm-hmm. I be listening to stuff prior to uh, Tina Snow. They love me because I'm cold. I love me some Meg the Stallion because I love how hard she talks mm-hmm. her S H I T. Yeah, yeah. I, I, no, n- so, agreed. So, I when mean, I'm, it, but I, I'm not going to be searching it out personally, me, Kevin. I'm not, if when I'm trying to get in that mood of I am that. Chick, I am that B I C T uh, B I T C H. Lord help us today. Just the way she starts off, she said, "I want to kick this off by saying, fuck y'all." Why are you doing? Why are you holding back your cusses? Because, as an NAACP <laughs> Image Award nominee, I have to hold myself to a higher standard. After the awards, I will be back to my normal little cussing, twerking. You spelled the B word wrong because I'm used to saying it. <laughs> It's very difficult to spell it these days. Because I've got to... I was like, what is it? I'm used to just saying the word. Jovic. She starts off so... I did love the start off. It was so good. It was so aggressive. And she told them to get a conjugal visit, I said... That was good too. I did enjoy. It was so good. She said, when I'm at the gym, I be thinking about all the women I'm known. Love it. And she called a lot of men women she did she said, i thought she went way more at tory than anybody else and his fans i think she went at she ain't, I, I ain't gotta clear my name on them i said and, and you don't <laughs> megan you don't 
<laughs> she, it felt like I'm, I'm going to say this one more time and I'm not going to say it again. Now she, she busted party up a couple of times. She did. That, she was, did. that was great. But nobody responded with near the vitriol than Sister Minaj. Uh, she really was like, no, no, I will not have it. Give me the mic. We will not have it. Now, let me say, let's, can we just talk about the song, her actual song? Who's? Evangelist Minaj. Sister Minaj. Oh, yeah. You loved it, I'm sure. <laughs> I said this yesterday. This is how I feel about her in this situation. Eddie Murphy once said the main reason he stopped doing stand-up comedy is because he couldn't tell if people were laughing anymore because his jokes were funny or because he was Eddie Murphy. And as a, as a comedian, he was like, I can't take it. Like, I need to know if it's funny for real. I believe that this song tells me she can't tell what's good no more because them, them barbs and all them, they love her so much. They gas anything because that as a, the, I listened to the acapella version. I, I feel like there was I one that too. had a beat. I did. I, listened I to said, both. Hey, Hey, this isn't done. You, you, you know acapella. Yeah. But rap, rap without beat, but with ad libs, it felt unfinished. If, well, she had one with a beat. It felt I know. like prescriptive medication. <laughs> and I, and let me tell you, it, this is not to be mean. I worked for. I told people online yesterday. I worked for a very wealthy older white lady who you could hear the prescriptive drugs rattling in her head from how many she had taken. It was just foggy. And so the way she even talked was like, cause she's like, you need to apologize to your mother. Like oh. that's how you, and I was like, what is, what is you on? It was like when Vivica Fox did the Martin, uh, the Godfather impression on set it off. Yes. Next stop, my boy, save us alone. Yes. <laughs> like girl, I, it, it felt like stream of consciousness. Mm -hmm. Like you a fragment foot, you a fragment, fragment foot. I was like, wh why are you saying this? Get on your good foot. I said production, the quality of even the acapella. I was like, it ain't even the acapella ain't mixed good. They said it was a voice memo. <laughs> it felt like it. I just didn't understand. It I felt said like everything she had said angrily in the live. Over the lives. That's what I haven't watched. Somebody said that we need to watch the stream, that the stream seems like she's having a, a bit of a time. There seems to be the heavy inference that this was heavily influenced mm. by uh, narcotics. Oh, oh. No. Yeah, it seems oh. to be, and I'm not talking about just, uh, I'm obviously this is all speculation, but people in the industry who were working with her were like, listen. Allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly. You know, they, they said it. They didn't even say allegedly, but oh. I'm repeating what they said before y'all oh, put okay. us on a documentary. Okay. Okay. People in the industry was like, they she gonna put you on is, a oh, yeah. oh yeah, right? They're going to crop this out, too. They're going to they're gonna, okay, they're gonna take the contracts <laughs> uh -huh. out and throw yes. my voice in there. But they were like, she is on cocaine. Mm -hmm. I can tell you for a fact, she's on cocaine. Mm -hmm. Like, now let me tell you who made me laugh. Them tickers, TikTokers, mm -hmm. them, them white tickers? children. Yes, oh. what they say. Oh my God. Them white folks got a couple off. And the black folks too. Them kids who ain't afraid of the barbs. Yeah, they're not afraid. They had her like, fragment, I'm a fragment, fragment. <laughs> 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 like it seemed like, have you seen Shutter Island? Yes. No. Or Beautiful Mind? It's been a long time since I've seen But you Beautiful know those Mind. movies where the, the Shutter people. Shutter Island's Leo, right? Yes where they have like a whole world in their mind and in their mind, all the things that are happening are is real yeah. and everybody can see them. But in the actual world, only they can see them. That's mm -hmm. schizophrenia though, right? Yes. That, but well, well, that beautiful, was, well, yes. no, cause that was beautiful mind. Yes. That's what it feels like. It feels like you should take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. Like, and listen, I wouldn't say I was a barb. I, I definitely wasn't a barb. But I was an appreciator of Nicki Minaj, the, the rap music creator. She held down the rap game for women for a nice it chunk was, of time. I want to say seven, eight years. Like, like it was Nicki, like and unrivaled. We, yes, there was the it was early two thousands. Uh, she the BET award. She didn't get any Grammys, which 
I'm not even like shading her. I was surprised by that. But BT Awards. Wait a minute, Nikki ain't got no Grammys? What you talking about? Nikki ain't got no Grammys. Oh my God. That is terrible. And Meg got three. Yes. That would piss me off if I were Nikki. I, I I would be upset. And she put it in Correct her Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. She I don't believe Nikki has no Grammys. I don't think she even has one. That's terrible. I don't even know how that happened. Like That's, that's, that's honestly terrible. She's been terrible, nominated like, 12 okay. times. God dang. How she didn't win any Grammy? for this year, though. Okay, so maybe she'll come out with something. Maybe. I don't know, but I don't know. M- Nick has three? Yeah. She got the one with Beyonce. What else did she get? Uh, you know, the reason why I know she got three is because Nikki put it in her song. That, that's how I found out, too. I <laughs> thought she only had one. I thought she only had the one with Beyonce. She won for Best New Art- Artist. Meg? In 2021. She was Best New Artist? Uh, then then what the, what's says. the face it with Beyonce. That's a big one, then. Mm-hmm. Be- Best New Artist is a big Grammy. And I think they, they might have won two, uh, two awards for that song. Well, God dang. Nikki had the BET Awards, though. I can't oh, believe yeah. Nikki didn't have a... That's why I double-checked. I, I, I couldn't I'm, believe that, too. I'm really, like, shocked that's, by that's that. That's a shame. That's a shame. Now, listen. I, now, wow, this damn Bigfoot song is just... Needs to be in the basura. <laughs> that Nikki deserves some damn Grammys for the other stuff back <laughs> back when. I'm surprised she didn't win... Kanye didn't win anything for uh, Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Um, she got hold on. I don't know. She got okay. Wait a minute. Best new artist, record of the year, and best rap song. Oh, they said she got blackballed. Well, that'll do it. But oh, when that, Nikki didn't even win for best rap performance in a year. Uh, they said she pissed off the one of the Grammy producers. But the Grammys are voted on, aren't they? It's by like, people in the Grammy Academy. I know some friends who were it, in. The, it's like a nomination process. And voting but doesn't process? the Academy vote like like yes. for the Oscars? Yes, it's the same as any other process. But she so, also might not have submitted during a period of time too, because artists but can't you have, get you can't get nominated if you don't no, submit. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. If she didn't submit, she, you're not going to get nominated. Oh, you mean outside of the twelve nominations? Because she's been nominated twelve times. Oh, she yeah, lost they twelve times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She she lost those losing twelve times. is as Nikki. As that's crazy. Yeah. But let me tell you what, I I don't. For rap beef, there's a lot of things that I feel like are on the table. Now, sometimes I think you you go too far. People go too far. When Pusha T talked about Drake's friend's sickness, I was like, hey, hey, man. Mm-hmm. I didn't like that. was a little overboard. Mm-hmm. But Nikki talking, like, she was lied on your dead mama. Lied on your dead mama. Lied. I said, hey, man, they talking about go apologize to your mom. I said, now, come on, Nikki. This is, this is the thing. This is the Nikki, thing. Nikki, come on now. I don't think many things are off limits, but if you can't, like, if you're using that as low hanging fruit and continue, like once she made the first reference at the beginning, I was like, oh, but then when she went back to it, I was like, oh, you don't have anything else to say. Yeah. So now you're just trying to pick and be mean. Now you just like, well, your mom ain't coming back, so I can just keep, right. I can keep on hitting at this because this ain't ever going to change for you. And you got shot and your mom is dead. Like. Okay, we this okay you now. Know, I, I'm like, for me, you only get to tag once on those things. I, I I I can't. It's hard for me to be like, oh, you have to set up these parameters when this is all foolish to begin with. We're going to sit here and talk about each other over a song. It's all kind of like, what are we really doing, guys? Yeah. But I'm entertained. But if you're gonna sit there and keep nagging at it, that lets me know you're not gonna do the work to actually try to write a good song that actually has like some validity to it. You acted as if she. Is the reason her mother is pa- how is that a diss? <laughs> <That's> how, like, <laughs> how is that a that's diss? That's a great point. It's like your your mom died. Okay, well m- most people's parents die before them, <laughs> right? So like, and people would and, and and this is what I really want to say. What I really wanted to get to, and I made like a short video about this, but I want to have like a deeper discussion. Her fans, man. I've never seen anything like it. It is out. It is like y'all for real need something else. I I made that Eddie Murphy thing. The amount of oh man twi- Twitter handles with Nikki's name in them and profile pictures that were coming out. I deleted. I said I'm not finna go. You said I'm not dealing with y'all. I got other stuff. I got to pick my son up. I don't want to get doxxed. I live in a gated neighborhood. I don't want to deal with it. They'll, they'll do it. 
I, I've heard they was talking about going. I don't know if this is a going true to, to it. Megan's mom's grave. I said, man, what is wrong with y'all? I thought literally, I honestly thought there was nobody worse than the beehive. Like I know how annoying the beehive can be. The barb said, hold my drink. I thought the Swifties <laughs> were the worst because I pissed them off one time. Oh, I don't pay them. I, I done pissed off the Swifties and I thought that was the worst or maybe K-pop. Mm -hmm. The beehive, they can be a lot. Mm hmm. But I don't feel like they just usually be a lot in support of Beyonce. Yeah, it'd be annoying. They're, it'd be annoying. But like Nikki feels like she encourages and deploys them. Well, she did. She more said y'all know what to do. Yeah, more than any other artist. Like every artist that's of that stature, not every artist, but a lot of huge artists have like the swarm type of fan bases who mm -hmm. be going Beyonce for sure has one, mm -hmm. but you've never seen. And when Beyonce has like, remember the Beyonce Taylor beef, like that was happening. You see Beyonce go and take a picture with Taylor. Yeah. She, she let be like, know. I'm not going to talk to y'all directly. Yeah. What's, like what's the greater point. I, I, if I seen this, I'd have been, I would have got and been like, man, what, uh, don't do this in mind. Y'all is acting y'all. This, this little white kid had made a TikTok. And they doxed that poor little baby. We, they had we were calling up to his family's job. He was like, "Hey, man, like I just made a rant because she pissed me off. Like it don't warrant this." But I don't understand why they want to put their lives at risk for because it's not going to be reciprocated. She's not you think she right. gonna bail you out of jail? She's definitely not. And the thing is, you are going to eventually roll up on the wrong person and get yourself not hurt but killed. Yeah, don't do that in Houston. <laughs> Like, Listen, you know what I'm saying? That's just not it's not a smart thing to do. I understand if you're like, no, I want to defend Nikki. But, you know, just type your little fingers and be like, no, she's great. <laughs> <laughs> and then period. Move on with your day. And listen, like, let's be objectively. That song was not a good song. <laughs> it wasn't. I don't think you should ever love an artist so much that you defend everything they do, regardless of what they do. Yeah, I don't you I, listen. I try my best. It's so if you didn't like my video or my show or my movie, that's fine. Like there's artists that I love. I don't love every album. I don't love every song. I right. can love your album and I could skip number four every time. <laughs> I can I, Jay Z and Kanye. I love uh, Watch the Throne. Otis. I hate that song. You hate Otis. Nah nah nah. I hate. I love that nah, song. Nah, nah. I can't I skip it song. fast enough. Oh. That song drives me insane. I skip it. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every video I made, every, listen, on our podcast, people disagree with us all the time. Mm -hmm. That first Cat Williams, they was eating us up in the comments so bad. I said, let me close the Oh, stop. they really be. Let me just love Kevin Hart because y'all want to make money. <laughs> I said, let me close my laptop. But I would, I, I don't mind healthy, I, I don't mind healthy dialogue. That's why I took that comment down because I'm not going to argue with the barbs on their home field of, of, Twitter. Uh -huh. I, if y'all, if, if, if the Patreon or the here's the thing, people disagree with us. I always feel like we're disagreeing with some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't ever feel like if Angel, who is my friend, and I like in your community, if Angel or Josh did something that I thought was wrong, I, I love them both. But I'm not going to just be like, oh, Angel, because I love I'm you. I'm going to die on this hill. Like, nah, Angel yeah, does something wrong. I'll be like, Angel, you tripping or Josh, you tripping. And, and them the same for me. And there's no artist. First of all, ain't enough time in the day now or at any time in my life for me to defend somebody who don't know me with all my day and make my Twitter account their name and my picture, their picture, and, and fight at strangers. I have never had that much you, time, energy, or interest to go at people who are strangers and look up them on the internet and try to get them fired over a rapper who don't know I live in this world. That, uh, that I don't, I do not understand. Again, with the, speaking of the Cat Williams thing, that was my first time of seeing something. Mm -mm, no, Tory. Tory Lanes was the first time of seeing people jump on a side so fast and, and believe something or lie to themselves <clears throat> and say they believe something with all their heart to spend that type of time yeah. of going back and forth with somebody and having an amount of discourse that you're just like, what are you supposed to be doing right now in this day? <laughs> what is not getting done? But the thing is, something <laughs> can't be getting done. I know that laundry is... That, it's sitting in the washer right, right now. Right. You need to put the car and drive and get those packages delivered because I know that's what you're supposed to be doing right now. You're not supposed to just be on this phone. But with the barbs, uh, because of them being fanatics for so long, it's just almost as if like they can't even 
they can't even rationalize being able to say, hey, well, I did actually see some being like, okay, I'm a bar, but this is. This <laughs> That's is, all I ask. This is not it. This and is- listen, Meg stood on her own tin. Nikki was like, I got do anything bees like Tasha Cobbs. I said, let me, let me read this again. Cause I don't believe you meant, I, I seen a screenshot. She said, I got all these, you didn't see this? I did, and I was confused. I, I said she had because she had listed this five is people. What Nikki said she said I got do anything bees who will ride for me essentially, and she named four people I didn't know, and then Tasha <laughs> Cobbs. And I said, let me go to her Twitter because there ain't no way she tweeted Tasha Cobb. And I searched through. I said, hold on. So Tasha Cobbs and Nikki are friends. I think they made a song together. They did. They made a gospel song together. And I think Nikki must have thought that in in her time of crisis, she said, you know, I'm gonna get break go every on, chain I on her way. You Break every Tasha chain Cobb, on the way. You got Tasha Cobb's number. Hit her up and find call out if right she now, arrived Kevin? or not. I don't, I don't have her, her number. Yes, I don't do. have her new number. Call her. I really don't have her number. I promise well, I don't. Well, hit up Kirk. I'm going to hit Kirk and be like, Kirk, what, what you going on with Tasha no, Cobb? No, no, no. Say, give me Tasha's number. I need to call her and find out if she a rider. I need to ask her. Maybe yes. I'll DM her and be like, Tasha, it's Big Kev. Dude, sit, Kev on stage. Right I bet you she responded. She, I bet you she laughed and be like, boy. Kev, you crazy. Be like, hello. Like, laughing I say emoji, to, laughing emoji, crying, hello crying, crying. Fresh. Uh, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, with hello fresh. You get fun good. fresh, pre-portioned. Uh, seasonal recipes, pre-portioned ingredients delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Each HelloFresh box is packed with farm fresh ingredients and everything arrives pre-portioned right to your doorstep for less hassle and less wasted food. Don't let recipe boredom strike because HelloFresh has more options than ever before. Dig into their biggest menu yet with over 45 dinner options to choose from weekly and even more market add-on items that suit any lifestyle. HelloFresh is a tanksly household stable. My children would not eat food at all at night if it wasn't for hello fresh <laughs> okay they would they'd be eating chips do you understand if it wasn't for hello fresh make it is so easy one of the more recent meals that i made was a flatbread with barbecue sauce mm. grilled red onions mozzarella and parma no it was a parmesan it was mozzarella and another cheese too it was so yummy um and it was so easy to make that's why i love it this time of year, everyone is looking to revamp their eating habits. Look to HelloFresh's wholesome health-forward options like uh, over 30 calorie smart and protein smart recipes each week. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and HelloFresh agrees. In fact, they are giving all subscribers free breakfast for life. That means you can enjoy a totally free breakfast item with every single HelloFresh delivery. Now, that's worth waking up early for. Go to HelloFresh.com slash SK Free. SK Free. And use code SK Free. SK Free. For free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's br- Free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash SK Free. SK Free. With code SK Free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the visuals. Why does Meg the Stallion look like that? Like what? what? Exactly. I love I love that how both of you all. Yeah, you know what? She, uh, when she when I watch her rap videos, you know what I usually do? I press play. I put my Bible up in front of the Screen. laptop. I can't be tempted. I said, I know she's going to be twerking and shaking, tempted, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be reading what to look. Oh, I don't want to see nothing wiggle, but the page from Leviticus to numbers. That thing shook. And while she was writing, you know what? I, and what I shook, I shook the foundation of praise. <laughs> I said, cause the serpent also hissed in the Bible and you ain't going to hiss me on down to hell. I won't be tempted. I said, Oh no. Nah, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read Exodus. Megan's body is so. Ri- I was like, Lord, you knew. She does P90X. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. The Lord knew I would not be right. I wouldn't be right in my mind. I would not have children. <laughs> what? What? What, what about your existing children? This amazing oh, like, body oh, to start over. <laughs> I wouldn't have no, yeah. I, oh. if the Lord, if the Lord, there ain't no way to get that body if you don't already have it. Like you got to have that. <laughs> That's got to be inherited almost, yeah. Ge- yeah, genetically. And I don't know if I knew all the like the little surgeries that could have helped shape me out because there was a point in time where my body was uh, it it wasn't made. You was almost a stallion. 
Oh, yeah. oh, I was definitely a thoroughbred. You was thoroughbred? Yeah. Huh, stomping with my big ass. <laughs> but <laughs> Megan's body just uh, in the way. Oh, and I love how she flows. She does not let up. There's no way for her to be able. Like the, I was so surprised by her uh, tiny desk because the way her flow is, she doesn't give herself room for breath. Mm -hmm. So you just have to like, she just keeps going and going and going and going. And that's what she did with his. And it's just the flow. She was like, she's just, I love her. And I just wish Nikki would have came up with something a little bit better. You didn't like what Nikki was like at the very end. She was like, and also if you don't, if you don't tell the truth, oh, no, I have been Gotham. Uh, that's Gotham exactly. I was like, she's in Gotham. Oh, you better apologize. <laughs> Cause at the end of the day, I said, Oh my God, this went on for way too long. Yeah, yeah. I was uncomfortable. And then this is AM SMR. <laughs> I don't want to kill you. <laughs> I need you. <laughs> like it was giving Arkham Asylum. Yes. It was giving Arkham Asylum. Yes. I need Batman. Hey, Bruce, whatever you're doing, this is a preemptive little battering. Get her before she does something. She is, I, the thing is, is that I heard that she has. I don't understand why she don't be getting along with people. I don't know what happened. So many. I, your uncle didn't know. Little she Kim, beefed with Lotto. That's what I found out I last said, night. When she I beef said, with Lotto. Big Lotto used to be Moo Lotto. Big Lotto used to be Moo? Yeah. And I said, what? I missed that she beefed with said, the Lotto. What, what, the little, what the little light-skinned girl do to you? What Lotto did? I knew she beefed with Cardi. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that's been going on for a long time, and I knew she had a beef with Lil' Kim. With Lil' Kim? I said, now, how you gonna rumble with the bee, huh? How you gonna, now, listen. She gonna put a hex on Lil' Kim family. mean a lot to me. In my time of puberty. When she had them legs gapped over I and sat said, down. I I don't know much about nothing, <laughs> but I know I like that. I know I like whatever my this is. My homeboy had that poster in his room. I spent the night. <laughs> Just want to make I sure I remember every little piece of this I picture. said, I mean, I was, I said, man, I what's just, in there? <laughs> what's in that part? Did she move that part I over? Want, just, I want to do this on that poster. <laughs> now, remember when we were young, they had the posters at Walmart? You could like slide through. Oh, and yeah. look, that was at the Walmart. I said, mom, I'm going to look at the toys. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Kimberly. I'm back again. <laughs> I just... Mm. I want to look at that. But anyway, uh, let's but move yeah, on. There's so many people. Anyway, go ahead. I don't want to take the whole podcast up. Your fave. Yes. Your fave. My fave. Was at it again. Why? <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Kim Burrell went viral. <laughs> Bless it. <laughs> Oh, thank sure. you, Lord, Angel. <laughs> thank you, Lord. What's thank you, Lord? Thank, thank you, I'm singing. And you're not. Jesus is my <laughs> only mind. He's only using me right now. Not you all. Obviously, this is a concert hall and not a church. Let him use me. Oh, oh what, what a foretaste. <laughs> Of my glory, divine hush, do not sing another word. He's using me, anointing me. Hear of salvation, I will save you from yourself if you would shut up. Uh. Yes. Uh. I am the one singing, not you. That's what she should say. Oh, my God. Oh. They didn't go over so rehearsals. I'm singing alone now. No, shut up. So I am the one who is singing. Yes. I'm singing. Let that mask work for you. Let the mask work for you. It's like fire. Shut up. In my bones. It's oh. my bones, not your bones. Did you see her double down? I'm sure. Why would we think she would do anything else but double down? <laughs> Did this is have we not met this woman before? Oh, uh, she said musty right now. This her double down, Angel. Thank you. I'm in the middle of ministry, and you know how you close out a sermon. 
And I'm singing, thank you, Lord. I'm thinking that I'm singing a solo. It's a solo. God's using me. Don't sing with me right now, it's Lord. It's a solo. Oh. That one that has to join you. And I heard her, y'all. I'm singing alone, now. Huh? She was singing, and I was just going for it. Thank, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am with that mask. We heard you. Let that mask work for you. I'm singing alone. No. <laughs> I'm operating in things of the spirit. Sometimes when I operate publicly, everybody doesn't understand the dispensation of what I operate in. They just see me as Kim the singer who's not being the singer, who is not always the singer. I'm the preacher. I'm the person with the gift of the prophetic. But anyway, so I'm sitting there singing, and I keep hearing her. And the man in front of her said, she's trying to tell you, man. No, I'll call on you when I'm ready. I'll call on you when I'm ready. So this was somebody who was disconnected in the service, but it was cool. But if you go further into the video, you... I don't know where the rest of that is. I love how she still thinks she's in the right. What do you mean? You don't understand. When I minister, the way I'm connected to the Lord, there's a dispensation and a distribution mm. that she was interrupting. Because people see me as Kim the singer because I was singing in the moment. But I had just finished ministering. And what's crazy is that the Lord cannot use me if you all don't shut up. Mm. <laughs> the Lord does not have enough power to use me if you're singing. That's how the Holy Spirit works. Everyone has to shut up for the Lord to use me. Because it got to cut through. It's got to, in your singing, I heard her, I heard her, shut up. Because how can I allow the anointing to fall on the people if they can hear you? Because that's not how the Lord, yes, did my God, Jesus, raise from the dead? And then go down to hell and get the keys of life and death and then go to be with his father. Yes, but he cannot use me if you're singing. That's not how his power works. It's like a VPN. You know what I'm saying? Like there's in certain situations. If you don't have that on, he can't work. Can't work. Yes. And the funny thing about it is I love that song. Dang. You just better not sing it in front of her. I was like, man, we can't even sing with you. You got the mic. Well, You're she was, amplified. She was We also, couldn't even hear the other person. She was doing the most. <laughs> I was like, are we going to get to the, uh, the, the woman was like, let me get you back to the melody. Cause let me tell you, first of all, let me tell you who all, who's always gonna sing loud is my mama. Dorothy May, she wouldn't have been May. quiet. Thank <laughs> you, Hallelujah, Lord. And if Kim would have said to my mama to hush, oh. I would have then joined in louder. Oh my gosh. She would have took the mic. I <laughs> just want to thank. Coming back around. I just want to thank. Do you want to thank him? I just want to thank. Yes. Nigga would try to silence my praise. Huh? Kim Burrell. You can't tell me. Guess what? Guess what I am too? A prophet. Because my Bible, if you don't praise him, a rock will cry out. Ain't no rock gonna cry for me. Huh? I will cry for myself. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> so ah! <laughs> when I made my <laughs> when I made my video about this, somebody said this video made my mama so mad. <laughs> she said she's out of order. She is, and you know that's <laughs> church folk. That she's, she's out, out of order. order. She's out she's of order. She's out of order. We do everything in decency and in order. She be out of pocket, <laughs> Kim. Kim be out of pocket, girl. You got to stop, Angel. I cried. <laughs> I thought the video wasn't real no, until they said it was Kim Barak. Said it's one thousand percent true. But the fact that she explained it and didn't explain it. See what was happening here. Hold on. That's when you can see her eyes. <sighs> see what was happening here. Is that the Holy Spirit was moving and I wanted her to shut up. <laughs> See, I, I don't think you all understood. I think you all thought that I personally didn't want to hear her sing. But what it was is I personally didn't want to hear her sing. 
It was like <laughs> exactly what we thought happened. Ha- you're, see, you're confused. You all thought I told her to be quiet. I told her to shut her mouth using the mask. Just can you eat the mask? Can you can you swallow that? Can you be swallowed up in the mask? Swallowed. <laughs> and stop talking at all. I don't. Kim obviously is a oh phenomenal, phenomenal singer. Mm-hmm. Like, ain't nobody going to take that from her. Ain't nobody going to take it, and they couldn't do it if they tried. But when I tell you that I don't know if her discernment is turned off or if the knob is broken. <laughs> like, I don't know which one it is, but we need maintenance on it. Oh, my God. Because I, I would think she would be tired of only making uh, trending when she, she acted ha- up. She has the most quotables for craziness. I said LGBT last night. I ne- no, she said, I never said LGBT. I said S-I-N. She has musty right now. <laughs> she basically has a m- mixtape of these now. It's really, I'm just like, can't Let you? Yolanda Adams get in. Let CeCe Winans get in. They don't ever. Erica and them, Let they don't Erica ever. get in there. Tina don't ever be really getting in there. And but but She wants all the clips. Kim be like. I got something for that ass. Y'all thought, oh, y'all thought y'all were just going to get out of here. It was the end of service. She said, oh, y'all thought y'all were going to get out of here with no mishaps. <laughs> Let God be true quickly. <laughs> she said that too. Yes. She said that's what LGBTQ stands for. Let God be true quickly. <laughs> Kim. Kim. Truly humbled under God. I just need her to stop. Stop. Oh stop. God. Just sing a song. I'm singing alone now. That was so irritated. Like, do you know I'm Kim Burrell? It's so. I'm singing alone now. <laughs> I'm singing alone now. Let the you let the mask use you. All right. Then, in other churchy business. What else? Juanita the Bynum also went viral in the same week. Well, Juanita be, was like Kim. You're not gonna keep trying to steal my what? thunder. This is her only vi- rival. Brothers, we wearing our pants too tight. Them 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 little bitty suits is worrying me. Them ones that have waters is cut all up in here too. So we can count how many you got down there. Something is wrong. She's talking about men's pants. Something is wrong. The that shoot Lil look like you just put on Lil Ray Ray's clothes or something and came to church. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. To the point even your little dance scare me. The way you shout scare me. Your mm. knees too close to be a man. Oh. Oh, oh wow. I'm not getting nobody to talk to me right now. Maybe I got to look down here on the monitor because... Open up your legs and shout like a man. Y'all up here shout like girls and the women shout like dudes. Oh, I didn't get this far in it. Close your legs up, you a woman. Where was our difference? Oh! The Bible says put a difference. I don't know about it. <laughs> we set apart, maybe. But that's she the, took some liberties. That's the world of God. Well, you looking for context, girl? I need something to back me up. Yeah, I just want to say stuff. I don't need context. Hush. It said it in there somewhere like that. Somewhere. And they really going off. Why is this? This is the, they this is piss the me off more than she does. Wait, how how would you know you did some had said something wrong but, if people are cheering but you? But they need to say it's wrong. I'm going I would have see this is the problem. I've got to grow up. You need to. You big four. I got I'm you 43. Big you you in your big four. I'm gonna be two big fours this coming year. Double four, double fisted I, with soon the four. As she would have said, women, y'all got to start shouting with y'all. Your legs are gapped open. Close your legs. I would have been like. (laughs) (laughs) That's how I would have shouted from then on out. (laughs) Legs and labia flapping (laughs) open. Now your labia flapping when you. That's why when you're a man. That's why when I I don't ever shout. I just be like. (laughs) That's what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Legs wide open. Wide. Yeah. Big pants. Uh huh. Strong posture. Uh huh. You gotta have more fists. You got, but I have. You need more fists. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I love you, God. That's how I. (laughs) There you go. She be like, "That's a man." Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> I'll kill the devil. Cut on me. Yeah, fist. I'll suck the devil. Cut. Yeah. The devil is not my homie. Cut. Yeah. God is my homie, nigga. Sorry. That is that is worship. That's man worship. That's worship. Ah, this is my shout for man. <laughs> yeah. Just march you, the and you better not be on beat because that is way too feminine. If the beat is, ah. get it off it. Don't ah. be on it. Don't you be on it. Cause dude, you better get that feminine out of you. Yeah, you go. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, I'm, a, I'm a drummer. I need to find the no, time. No, you just got to, because you shout, you over here trying to make it a dance. It's just got to be a walk. It's got to be a pace. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Man, stop. Yeah. Oh! That's, that's your shout. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Ain't nobody oh! mad but the devil. Yeah. You a man, don't be no bitch. Oh. <laughs> Ain't nobody mad. <laughs> What is, is that approved? What is going on? I don't know. I, I just don't we know. We can't keep defending this week <laughs> after a week. I'm telling you every time <laughs> I go, I go, no, no, <laughs> no. I'd be like, and then the comments be like, this is why I don't go to church. And I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> I see. I can't. I, I can't. I, how can I defend? I see now. In the huh. head of people in there, preach! When she said, I can see how many you got down there. Well, why are you looking? <laughs> looking at balls, because his pants are tight. Why are you looking at balls? for? Now, I do be seeing men wear real thin, tight pants at church. There's there's somebody I saw. It wasn't that the pants, the pants were too small. You know there are sometimes where pants are cut skinny? That's one thing. Yeah. It was, this is the wrong size pants for you. But that was, it was just like, well, you know what? Like I said, that's where that thing came from. Don't nobody dress worse than a nigga that lost 90 pounds that need to lose 25 more. <laughs> we already in the size that we think we in. Listen, let me tell you what I found. I lost a little bit of weight. All extra larges ain't, ain't equal. <laughs> I thought I was in extra large. I'm extra large in some, not all. Melissa, uh, the boys that got me a gift and they recorded it, mm -hmm. and I thought I had been doing good. And I looked at the video. I said, "Whoo, that's what I look like." <laughs> in in y'all's eyes, Tony got a video of me sleeping in Mexico. <laughs> you can't catch me fully relaxed. Yeah, just my stomach was out. My mouth was on. I said. I thought I'd been doing good, mm. but sitting down and relax, Let my stomach was all across the county lines. Listen, I, I need to stand up. I look better when I stand up. When I sit down, it could be compressed. I need to stand up and behind something. Do you understand? I took a goddamn Pilates class with the women of uh, Mama's Den. That's Cody Oliver. Uh, Melanie Fiona wasn't there, uh, but uh, some other very thin black mothers. Yeah. In... I was like, it looked like I just had my kids the way I came up in there. They had on little sports bras and then the little tops. I had on a full loose onesie <laughs> on. Just big on them uh, reformers. I was. <laughs> you want to know the worst part of me going to the gym? I'm going to tell you the worst part. I'm going to show you. Oh, no. I do this workout where you do oh. like shoulder raises. Uh -huh. And every time I do it. Your shirt. Oh, no. <laughs> on the belly belly. I feel like. Mm. I want to do this one. Is that is that is my, that the bad part? Yeah, my stomach been poking out underneath. Ooh, Kevin, no, let me tell you the bad part is when I start <laughs> itching in areas because especially if I'm running on the treadmill, my booty starts to itch <laughs> from where it is slamming down when I run. <laughs> and I just I just want to scratch it so bad. <laughs> That's the worst part. I'm like, this is only happening because my butt is so big right now from all the weight. Y'all, yes, your butt be itching too. I know I'm not the only one. I just be like, ah, it's only because I'm big. You sound like a villain. Ah, it's only because I'm big. Hey, listen, this is why I'm having a protein shake for breakfast. <laughs> And not what I really want to have. I got to get Listen, there's a lot of people who be booty be itching too. Yes, that's the I'm telling you. <laughs> Amber said you are not alone. Girl, I get it. Yes, and thighs. Yes, it be like. The runner's itch. The Pepper. runner's itch, Angel. Listen, I didn't know that was a thing. Because listen, listen, you're not as jiggly as me in uh, in certain areas. And back in the back, I. Listen. It's, it's going crazy <laughs> back there. It's, 
I be trying to, you know, show videos of me working out, like and cutting together things. Every time I think I'm going to include the running, me running on the treadmill, I be like, cut that shit out. <laughs> all this stuff is just, it is an earthquake all across my body. Angel, I told myself, I said, man, I've been, I've been eating right and stuff. Me and Tony had a fitting in Mexico. And the, the, the person hadn't done a commercial with us in a minute, maybe like a year and a half. And I had been working out too. She came out, oh my God, Tony. Oh, the last time I saw you, oh, you've lost so much weight. You, you, we, had, you, we had your pants at 38, they're 34 now. Oh my gosh. Hey Kev, all your stuff still fits. <laughs> first of all, first of all, stop. <laughs> you know Tony sent her his sizes to them and she didn't read it because she was rushing. She thought he looked the same. She didn't read mine either. Mine, everything was. Everything fit. <laughs> Look, somebody, I saw the thing. She lost so much. I said, oh my gosh, you've lost so much weight. She said, girl, you look good too. And I was like, no, but you know I'm as big as a damn house right now. Just take the compliment. You don't got to turn it around. You don't turn around. I know I'm she as big. She said you look good though. She didn't say you lost weight. I didn't look good either. <laughs> I didn't. She should have let her. That's the other thing that pisses me off is that, you know, I be having on my workout gear and I, be, I look cute in my workout gear in my house. <laughs> And, but then <laughs> when I, again, trying to record stuff. So, cause from the front, I can have it. You see, there's a waist, right? The thighs be doing. And then when I squat, my stomach <laughs> sets. <laughs> my stomach meets my thigh before I complete the squat. And it makes me so mad. And it be catching, it be catching the fabric. So then when I get up, it looks like I have a double coochie. It's so... <laughs> It makes me every time, and I'll be like, "Can't use that." Either. I'll be like, oh. "Release the drafts, Angel." No, Le take that off the cutting room floor. <laughs> People gonna be like, "You listen, you got to play the vulnerability card for the NAACP." I do, listen, I will. People be big in the world. They and where's their representation? They see I represent them. <laughs> They're not confused on whose team I'm on. Nina Parker sends me her big girl clothes, and I'll be wearing the big girl clothes. <laughs> Okay, the bus thick girls, we out here. That's why I was like, well, all right. When um uh, two beautiful plus size black women, Danielle and uh Divinay, Divine, Divine, huh? Divine. It's spelled divine, but I don't think that's how. It's I don't know. I it's, was I, that was a question, divine. It is spelled divine. It's spelled divine. I was like, come on, because I'm with y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with y'all. That's why I root for Jack Black so much. Yeah. When I be, Lil Rel was with us and he got out. Mm -hmm. I said, Lil Rel, now come over here, stay with Jack Black, I done told you. Who's my boy, Josh, who was in uh, Eternals? Black boy, he was on uh, Atlanta. Um, uh, paper mm -hmm. boy, mm -hmm. I mean, yes. not paper boy. Uh, the same age as Marcus, we just uh, were talking about him yesterday. What's, what's his name, y'all, from Atlanta? Not dark Donald skin. Glover, not Lakeith Stanfield. The darker complected. Brian, Brian Tyree, Tyree Henry. Tyree Thank y'all. He with us. <laughs> Brian, Brian Tyree, Tyree Henry with us. I need them to stay with us. Winston Duke, he 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 looked like he with us, but he really just strong. He he a thick boy. Yeah, but his muscle, his muscle. Yeah, he got some. He got some chunk chunk to no, him too. No, but he, he I, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's his tallness is also his a tallness kind of helped him. He's just large. Yes, he's, he's large. Boy. Yeah, Jack Black, he is our leader. <laughs> Jack Black is the prototype. That's what I was gonna tell you. I'd be in the gym sometimes. I'd be like, I probably will just be a little big for the most of my life. It's just a little. Cedric the Entertainer. Kevin, he ain't never been small. Mm -mm. I'm always going to be chasing this version of myself that she might be, she might be gone, but I'm going to chase her down for a little bit longer. This is, I, there's so many things that mean I won't catch my young self. And the thing that really pissed me off, first of all, I want to make a quick joke. There's this TikTok thing that said Nigerians are so poetic when they're mad. She said this person was, somebody said the person was dumb. She said wisdom, oh <laughs> wisdom God. chases her, but she is faster. <laughs> I said, boy, that is a, gr I mean, that is a great insult. Yes. But when I look back at myself in high school, I'd be so mad that baggy jeans and stuff was in. Because I can't even appreciate. And then, and let me tell you the worst part. Mm -hmm. My whole family at that home, just abdominal muscles. My son sickened me. Well, they're babies. Isaiah came in the room. He had picture day. He came in the room with no shirt on. 
I mean, eight visible abs. That Without big, even flexing. That, that, not that, just that, that, on the breathe crazy, out. Man. That boy has abs on the breathe out. Sitting down. Josiah looks like a action figure, man. He's excited he about is that in life. muscular now. Mm. And then I'm just big as the world. <laughs> big? Listen, Kevin. I'll just be in that house big as the world. I, Melissa, fantastic body. She is going to the be bo- forever fit. Her jeans... When the Lord made our children, they said, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Give Melissa stuff to them boys. But my height, they both get in the lid of my height, but the body don't have my stuff. I'm the only big person in my house too, Kevin. I get it. In the, in what, listen, and I'm not even trying to be the high school version of myself. I'll still be considered big here when I get some of the size I want to be. My goal is just a little bit big. I, I will be small for the South. I'ma still be big. Even when I was at my smallest in LA. Yeah. I was still the biggest of my friends. <laughs> and I think I I, got, I think I might have gotten to a size six. Still bigger than everybody else. Dang. I was like, well, this is just where that let me just Everybody can have but you're funny though. I'm funny and I'm cute. I'm fine as hell. I just That's got what a that lot girl tried to tell you and you didn't believe her. Well, girl. No, no, no. That's what she just realized. Oh, she had to hurry up and gather. <laughs> Because she knew she couldn't say, you didn't love. No. No, no. Don't say that. We don't both know that. the truth. I see. But I stopped eating, so we're going to see what happens. <laughs> we was talking about Angel's having a, the NAACP lunch, and Angel said, I got to stop eating now to fit in, fit in this dress to by, this dress. by what is it, February or March? February 24th. She said, I'll, if I just don't eat nothing else. I'll get in that dress, and I'm yeah. going to look succulent. <laughs> but if I keep eating, we're going to have to do some alterations. So I stopped. Before we go, I want to touch on this. Jess Hilarious. Oh, yes. She booked the uh, Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Yes, she did. She had an intro was too hard. It's just, huh? I would think so somebody good. like the Breakfast Club would need the clout chase. But knowing them, they probably want somebody light skin. Well, I'm just with the master. My news is real. Just hilarious. Now comments on them saying these niggas is trash. Y'all could have got somebody better than that. I'm not hating. They don't give a damn about what she's done. She made the announcement before it was even inked. That third seat on the Breakfast Club was one of the most sought after coveted positions in hip hop media. Less hilarious. You were using that breakfast club to besmirch my name speaking so negatively she ain't over there she's back on the monopoly board yes man you gotta get more going on in your career i saw just hilarious say she you know got the role and stuff why did she say that they say you don't work there no more girl did you get fired or not how the hell are you gonna get fired on your day off what happened to just hilarious on the breakfast club they either didn't hire her or fired her the breakfast club just isn't what it used to be they can either choose to put a new three in there or kill the show off completely i think the breakfast club is over man you cannot <laughs> make an announcement they have rollouts party to make this a uh, extravagant women empowerment and she did some baltimore shit <laughs> and they going wrong she spoke too soon she announced her move before her move was done and now she's left with an egg on her face lock it in y'all just hilarious will not be the co-host of the breakfast club this is all just like one big hoax these niggas trash this shit came off as if the two of them had something to do as to why she isn't a part of the breakfast club. I'm sorry you didn't get the job, um, less yeah. hilarious. <laughs> Do you feel she called them out over not securing her spot as an official call? Mm, this is giving me stunned, if you ask me. This is that Real. old Michael Jordan uh, yeah. intro music. So, so if you good. can't see, obviously, it's it's Charlemagne. It's her sitting in the queen queen's chair and Charlemagne and Envy coming from behind her. Listen. Uh... This was, somebody just said this in Patreon, and I agree. Uh, I think it was, his name was D- Darren. He said this was a WWE level intro video. I would have done something exactly like this. So many, I mean, obviously, so many voices yeah. relished in. The, now, when I saw the video and then on, she wasn't on The Breakfast Club, I was like, oh, that's crazy. Yes, yeah, same. But I didn't say nothing because I didn't know what was going on. one of us did. Because you know they even... put us on a documentary. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, we yeah. imagine we would have been. been... In... Well, apparently, they said she's not on the show. I don't understand. They done twisted our war. I mean, they done, that one documentary, I said, well, y'all done chopped out the before and after and oh, took after. the part and made it see. Okay. Yeah. But all them people, I, I guarantee, nary an apology or even in the middle of being wrong. Mm-mm. 
And she got the last laugh. It was the best publicity stunt ever. You think they, it was on purpose? Yes. I think so, too. I was talking to Lisa about it. I was like, this would have been a perfect uh, stunt. Because Charlemagne and DJ Envy was like, no, she's not. Yes. She has a, it was a publicity stunt for sure. But they also knew that people were going to relish in. 1,000%. <laughs> the internet go internet. Yeah. They knew yep. what the hell the people were going to do. And they said, thank y'all, because y'all just brought all these eyes without us having to spend the money on getting y'all to talk about it. 1,000%. It, it was, it was uh, what do they call it? Earned media. Yes. And negativity, positivity, uh, all of them less hilarious, calling her less hilarious. I was like, I couldn't tell how many different voices there were uh -huh. in there. But... Um, a lot of people in Patreon are saying, uh, yeah, I am. Somebody in Patreon said, Alicia Cheek said, I'm last laugh. I always want the last laugh. I, I am Thanos. Absolutely. I have a long list of people who've wronged me, and I can't wait to destroy them. Uh, but I digress. Should. Yes. I have Arya Stark, Liz, Thanos. Um, what's my phrase? You cannot live with your own failure. <laughs> and where that leads you? Back to me. Back to me. I would have loved to have said this. She got, she got to move to New York. Good for her. <clears throat> I'm sure that show pays well. I and would the, hope so if they would iHeart. I, I bet if iHeart. Yeah, if it pay, yeah, I it bet probably it plays pay well. really well. I think it is the perfect uh, avenue for her. She was basically doing it on her own, but being funny, which yeah. is different than the Breakfast just Club. Just the mess, you mean? Yeah, this is just with the mess. She was following pop culture and giving her opinion. <laughs> this is what they do. And I also think just based off of some of the some of the snippets of interviews I've seen them do, and she's been the third mic, she offers a really great balance that I would not have thought initially. Mm -hmm. Like she's not like you would <clears throat> when Charlemagne is doing his Charlemagne thing and being a little bit of antagonizing, and then DJ Envy yep. being a little whatever he's doing, chill. Yep. She's just a nice balance yep. to the equation. So I'm here for it. That was a great rollout. It was great. It was fan freaking tastic. Good for them. Good for her. It was great. Now just put me on there. I, I still want to do the Breakfast Club. I want to do my Shay, the club Shay Shay. So we can, might end up doing it. I would love to. And I'm going to air all the comedians that I have beef with out. You guys think <laughs> me and Tony Baker are cool. I will tell you the truth about how I feel about him. To hear more, Patrick Cloud. <laughs> he said all of them. I'm, I'm airing them. all them out. I Heart Radio reached out. They did? Mm -hmm, to me. What they said? They were like, do y'all want to do some press? And I said, yes. What this, happened? This week? No, they, they asked me. I told them we had a tour. Uh -huh. Yes. I'm going to shout like a man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm one of their little big money player people. So they were like, the Who? the thing that I did with Will Ferrell. Oh, yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. So yeah. the dude was like, would you do, would y'all do the Breakfast Club? I was like, yes. If they would have us on, we would do the Breakfast Club. I sure would. So he reached out about two weeks ago. So hopefully, while we're in New York, it'll work out. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, tour starts this week. Toronto and New York. Next Toronto. week, Tacoma, Sacramento, and Los Angeles. And then a week after that, we got Nashville. And then Saint a week Louis. after that, Nashville. Nashville. Once we get into the... The, the L.A. show on, we we cooking with grease. Cooking with grease. The L.A. show on, them ticket sales is, they're perfect. I mean, they're just a beautiful plum. Divine. Just divine. Yes. The only problem areas is Toronto, Tacoma, and Sacramento. Everything else, even Birmingham is pulling its way. I said, Birmingham, you do all right. Birmingham said, thank you for coming down here. Yeah, that's what they, they was rewarded. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I, I really wish I could have went to Oakland this year because Sacramento has disappointed me. I'm very surprised by them. Uh, but they usually pull up anyway. <clears throat> but anyway, thank y'all for watching. Bonus episode will be Friday, I believe we said. Yeah, we said Friday morning. We have a uh, Friday and be, it'll be a good time. It'll be a good time. When, 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 oh, it'll, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be a good time. It'll be a good time. It'll be a good time. It'll be pretty, 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 pretty good. Pretty good. So we'll see you then, and everybody else, we'll see you next week. God bless you. God keep you. And we can't wait to see you on tour. You guys are in for a treat. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you. I, I stand on this.
There is no other podcast live show that will be like the Here's the Thing live show. It's about to be amazing. Vote for might, us. We might work it all the way to Madison Square Garden. Okay, come on, let's do it. Vote Angel said it was possible. TV. Yes, it's possible. You know it's possible. These white boys be doing it. Guess what? Them white males be doing it. They do a lot of stuff that niggas don't get to do. I don't give a god dang. Okay. It's a new day. It's a new day. All right, we'll see y'all. God bless you. God keep you. Vote. Here's another thing of Here's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another thing of fire. With my boy Kevin on stage. And that chick angel.